Seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? it? Would I shag it, did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely I would have sex with really? that. Would you, Douglas? Me. But I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere. I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which well, I don't know how old you, you are, for but, not I was, but I was, I was, I'm Thems, not a member of the queer community, working here, you working stupid hard. sod. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all's good wherever you are. In this video, we're going to watch Douglas Murray completely eviscerate a woke LGBTQIA+. Jeez, that thing is getting long, isn't it? Activist on the Pierce Morgan Show. Let's get into it. Douglas, let me start with you. Uh, I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry, they, even though there's, they. Only, one, there's only one of them. Why, why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to well, correct you if you're going to why is, That's how they identify themselves, why is, why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? Respect, no one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Well, that's fine, as long as All that's right. your decision. My cool. pronoun is hottest man in the world. Yeah, well, I'm happy to call you that. Well, go on, then. Some may disagree, but well, yeah, on. Go on, if then. that's what you are, on, then. then cool, I will address you as the hottest man in the world. Throughout the entire interview. Throughout the entire okay, interview. OK, let's stick to that. Douglas, let's come back to you. Uh, you don't have to call me the hottest man in the world, even if you're thinking it. Um, <laughs> Sam Smith. I, to me, he's just on an ever-deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And, of course, it's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualized stuff, the sort of satanic stuff. Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing that actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. Yeah. Okay, I, he came so out I some years ago. Why do you say James? He, he, came, he came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non binary. And he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he, he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he, he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I th sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is, like, pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me, but it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Pierce got it right, saying they is grammatically incorrect when there's only one person. And if the truth matters, then proper grammar matters. These LGBTQIA plus and trans activists, they really are targeting the hard issues of our times, really, right? The hard issues of our society when we have a growing fentanyl epidemic, a homeless crisis, a crumbling medical system, sky-high inflation, house prices that just keep on going up and up and up, and not to mention a southern border that lets in over one million illegals every year at this point. Thank you, Joe Biden. But yeah, pronouns, really important. Let's get back to it. Yeah, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting... Well, it is disgusting, yeah. We do find it disgusting. No, what you're saying is Why? Disgusting. We're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I am. keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. Think it's if okay they're going to dress do. like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely I can. Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it's absolutely fascinating. 
that's fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy. Think it's you think that's sexy? That is, and I, that's <laughs> someone. Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? <laughs> would I shag it? Did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would have sex really? with them. Really? Thank you for well, asking. You're a braver would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them. If I'm honest with you. No, no, no. I can assure you, I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old-fashioned. If you all enjoy these breakdowns and these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a thumbs up. That would really, really help me out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notification every time a new video is released. Let's get back to it. James? So why on earth are you friends with Piers Morgan? <laughs> well, you'll notice, that, you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yet. I mean, that's Yet, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yet. Again, I the just want to... is young. I want to quote the Pope again, because the Pope has done this Why? documentary. Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're I'm not, all but Catholic? I think it's really well, I am a Catholic, so what do you So the Pope said that to express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not so... doing this for sexual expression. Oh, dear he's God. He's doing this just you don't even you're know just your picking any He's doing it just to be deliberately offensive. Just go back to clutching your pearls. Go back to I don't have England. any pearls. Um, Douglas, are we look? Are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this, thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now, and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid and it's attention-grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent myself. I don't much <laughs> care for his voice. Wow. But the point is, is that, of course, he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak for all gay men, to be honest with you, what? Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so... no, I don't, I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA yeah. plus I, two, I think, two actually, if you think this show is offensive, or anything you my stand-up show because compared to that what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to Christianity and Jesus really so I'll what? see you at my tour starts tomorrow by I, the did, way. I, 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 I didn't know you were touring but good luck with that thank yeah. you so hold on wait a minute here you're gonna tell me that this fellow in the pink shirt is a comedian and he's getting this triggered by pronouns aren't comedians supposed to be like big free speech activists I'm a big fan of comedy. I love going to stand-up comedy shows. And these days, for the last maybe six, seven years or so now, there's always somebody, every time I'm in North America on holidays visiting my family, there's someone getting triggered when I go to the comedy show, offended by what a comedian says. Listen, if you're going to be offended by what a comedian says, don't go to a comedy show if you're that sensitive. But for this man to have his hands all up in the air and be so triggered and upset by somebody using the wrong pronouns. Comedians, as far as I can remember, were the hardest people to offend. And also, most comedians tend to be very bright and very smart. Maybe not this fellow here, but most of them are very witty and they have the good comebacks. I have a hard time believing that Whoever this gentleman is sells a lot of tickets to his concerts. Let's get back to the video. Could be, but when you're just going to that kind of length, just to be deliberately, slobbishly offensive, I think it's unacceptable. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately misgendering Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. It doesn't matter what you again, decide is right or naked wrong. And, and semi-naked. Like, I mean, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you, probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna, you know, when she says, stop objectifying me. What else are we supposed to do with Madonna, <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify You know what? 
You're both cis white straight men. You can carry on. I'm not being... a cis anything. Uh, uh, right. Shut up. Sorry. I'm not. I'm just carry... right. I don't so even what know what cis say? is. Look, it's what sorry. Is what, what did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was horrible. born, what did you just say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Yeah, hang Listen, on. Hang on. I got to hear. That's not what, what I'm here to discuss. But what I am here to tell you is that you're completely out of touch. Apparently, our skin color is now relevant. For God's sake, we're white men. So you're now being viral So you're now being racist and you're calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on, Piers. Piers. Wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it for Doug. He says you were both. I can't remember to be honest. With you, you said, I think you said. Okay, why don't you shut up for a moment? Straight, I, think straight, well, I think you said. Well, Douglas is straight. I think you said that we're both. I, I, I think you said we're both cis white straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I don't well, know how old you, you are, for but not I was. But I was. I was out Douglas. as. I was. I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people? Research. Are you joking? I would do a oh little, my God, Douglas, I that's ridiculous. I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't I want to come so. to your I show. I don't think so. You're right. embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're a shame to the queer You know community. what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm them, not a member of the queer community, working here, working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you I'm who's not a <laughs> member of the queer community. The person who ultimately about is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much for <laughs> a picture of sexy Sam. I hate you, stage. Douglas. Yeah, uh, I never Douglas, thank you, you very much. Cheers. James, thank you very much. I'm glad we ended with such harmony. It's, been a very it's always the left getting so offended. And when they don't win their argument, this is what happens. He says, I hate you, Douglas. We've watched so many debates on this channel. Charlie Kirk, Candace Owens. And when they don't get their way, they just start yelling, cursing, swearing. And they call us, on our side, the conservatives, bigots. The left likes to put everything in groups. Your group identity is more important than the individual identity to the left. That's why they want to separate us all by, by race or like by LGBTQIA plus alphabet mafia. By gender, are you a cis male, are you a trans? Everything is about your group identity. Instead of basing it on the individual, they base it on the group. Now here we have Douglas Murray and we have this fellow here, two men, who are gay men, who some would say would be part of the same group, but as you see, Douglas Murray said, no, nah, no, nah, don't put me in your group. I'm good, buddy. Just leave me here by myself. I'm doing my own thing and I'm crushing it. We should always treat people based on the individual, based on their merits. That's why critical race theory is complete nonsense. That's why affirmative action was wrong. That's why all this DEI, sorry, but bullshit is nonsense. To think that you can have everybody race, gender, sex, represented equally at all levels of society is nonsense. DEI wants to push equality of outcome, which will never work. There's enough research and data out there that shows, but they still try to push this. What they should be doing is focusing on equality of opportunity that we all know is the right thing to do, regardless of your sex, your gender, age, where you're from, that you should be, you know, if you're an American, a Canadian, if you're from the UK, that you should have the same opportunity as everybody else, but you should not be guaranteed results or equity based on your race or gender or sex. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.